Hey everybody, it's Adam. All right, so uh, Toy Fair 2014 going on right now. Started this weekend, be going for a couple more days. Um, lots of reveals. Uh, I, I'm just kind of throwing some bids up on the stuff I'm most excited about. So um, obviously a lot of Star Wars stuff. So today we're taking a look at some of the announced reveals for the Star Wars Black line. So for those of you who don't know, hang on, let me grab this. Star Wars Black is a 12-inch not a 12 inch, six inch scale Star Wars figures for collectors, fully posable, the whole nine yards. Um, they've been very popular. They've been very controversial. The assortment mix has been a bit, eh. uh, it does seem like these next few reveals are, uh, going to be pretty cool. Actually. I don't think there's a lot of uh, filler this time around. So let's dive in shall we so first up these guys are hitting right now this is technically wave one of 2014 um they these guys i literally got a notice that my pre-order is coming in right now for these so announced in this way we have bespin luke we have obi-wan kenobi note in a bit of a complaint i'm very annoyed they are not including the outer robe with these jedi characters um and finally, Stormtrooper. Many people looking for Stormtroopers. Um, normally there are four figures in a wave. There is only three new characters in this. And instead of doing the smart thing and packing two Stormtroopers in there, because you know everyone's going to want an army build, no, they're only sticking one in there. That fourth figure is going to be a re-release of Han Solo. So... Um, Folks are going to be hunting high and low for the Stormtroopers, and they're going to be paying through the noses for them if they can't find them at retail. All right, Wave 2 in 2014 is going to consist of the first uh, Phase 1 Clone Troopers, uh, basically Clone Troopers from Attack of the Clones. Also, Anakin Skywalker, nothing new here. These are these are, have already been revealed, um, but these are due in the spring. Again, highly annoyed that that Anakin Skywalker is not coming with an outer robe. Um, I'm hoping, you know, when we get info from Collection DX, I'm hoping that there was some sort of uh, addressing of that. If you guys have heard, please let me know in the comments. And, of course, Chewbacca. And, of course, Chewbacca is going to be a big, giant, like, seven, seven and a half inch scale figure. He'll be much bigger than the usual, than the rest of the crew. So he is going to be in scale. Um, again, these are due spring 2014 Star Wars Black Figures at retail go for $19.99. And Wave 3. Yay, Darth Vader! So, uh, a couple things here I have seen. I know that uh, this is prototype. This is early prototype. They're saying that they're going to be trying to get a chain there on the front of the cape, so it's not going to look like that in the final version. Uh, Two-stage removable helmet, lightsaber... Looks good. No complaints with that. These are due in fall of this year. Also, uh, Return of the Jedi Luke. Um, looking good. Um, complaints here, of course. Again, I have a bit of an issue with this because we were told by Hasbro last year that this, the whole point of the Star Wars Black Line was to be sort of the, the quintessential version of that character. But unfortunately... The Jedi characters that they've unveiled so far are incomplete. They're not giving us outer cloaks. I don't know what's up with that. Um, however, here with Luke, we're going to be getting um, uh, apparently that the front chest piece there will be swappable. So you can either have the flap hanging down or the flap up. But again, without the cape and the outer tunic, I'm a, I'm annoyed. I'm really, really annoyed. I you know I'm not sure where I'm going to go with that. And finally, a reissue of the Storm Sand Trooper, um, but this time with a different color shoulder pauldron. So for those of you who like the army build, there you go, another one to chase. I'll be skipping that one myself. And that's not all. We've also been teased with uh, deluxe figures for these Star Wars black lines. So let's take a look at those. First up, yes, that's right, a six-inch scale speeder bikes so that's six inch figure on a bike scaled for him with the uh the display stand will be adjustable um looks good price range on these guys on the deluxe ones are going to be 39.99 but that's not all you also get what job of the hut 
Really? Um, yeah, I was a little surprised by this, needless to say. Um, it's interesting. When you go to Toy Fair and you go to these reveals, uh, folks who um, normally wouldn't give this a second thought, they get all caught up in the hype, and they'll be hooping and hollering and everyone excited. This will be a shell former. Um, I I don't. I mean, I know there are fans out there that love Jabba and will want to display Jabba, but really, this is a complete and utter pass for me. I, it, it's a bit of a huh. Um, they could have done something else out of the gate, but but it does make all those uh, Princess Leia sitting on the shelf worth picking up. Mark my words. For as much as uh, those are shelf warmers in a lot of parts of the country, as soon as that job of the hut hits. You know for a fact people will be paying through the nose for those Leias. So you've been warned. That if that's your thing, you know, you want to pick them up. I'll say myself personally, very excited about the speeder bike. Highly annoyed they're not giving us robes. You know down the road they're going to double dip and hit us again. And here's Obi-Wan in his robe. I don't know. I don't know. So... Who knows? Maybe maybe I'll be much happier with it, but we'll see. But that's it. Those are uh, that was the big news out of Toy Fair was really showing off those deluxe figures. Um, how are you doing with the Star Wars black figures? I know a lot of folks have been having a hard time finding them in stores, or at least finding the ones they're looking for. I hear reports of a lot of Greedos and um, uh, Slave Leias kicking around. When I personally go by my local Targets and Toys R Uses, there's almost never any star wars black like period it's not it's as if the stores i'm going to are not overstocked on those figures they're just not stocked on figures period so they've been very difficult to hunt down i've kind of given up on trying to find them in stores and i'm taking to just ordering them online from the local retailers like big bad toy store or entertainment earth or those guys because you know yeah you may pay a buck or two more for per figure if you buy them in the case but it you're saving yourself the hassle of uh, running around, chasing it, and whatnot. So there you go. I hope you liked that little editorial on those. Um, where are you at with the Star Wars Black Figures? Are you interested? Have you been picking, you know, cherry-picking them as they've come up? Let us know in the comments. Talk to you later. Bye.